personal experiences and sort of cut the time and save a lot of time, you know, and to uh, to other artists by by having this communication, but really having the forum for that, and then having funding too. To, to support I, would, the I would also mention that Creative Capital has a good model. I don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but they use like a venture capital model for um, supporting the arts. So not only do they give artists grants, but they also that comes with artist services. So they give you money for a show. They work with you on the marketing and the promotion of the exhibition. You know, there's additional support that there's different tiers of support for like manufacturing, for publication. So they kind of like they work with you um, in a way in which a producer would. Um, so it's a more kind of integrative experience. Just to put on the tail end of that, I, I would think it would be great to have a, a group of artists go to, say, to Southern California Edison and talk about black art or, black, you know, collecting African American art and bring it to them. We can't expect them to come to us. Yeah, you know, they're, yeah. they have the disposable income. Yeah. A lot of these people, they're employed. They can buy art, yeah. but do they value it? You know, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. How many, I, I can't tell you how many people are first time sculpture collectors. They don't, you know, yeah. have no idea. Of, that you're out there. Well, and yeah. the, just the value of, of the variety of arts that we offer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, having that vehicle to get to those, those kind of corporations and then getting our work in their building, mm -hmm. having them purchase our work. Yeah. You know, even if it's a rotating, even if it's a loan, yeah. you know, yeah. having Pay that, you know, just having yeah. that opportunity in that window, because really, that's who we're targeting. And I'm, you know, those I'm are some of the people I'm targeting. A rent. Yeah. Rent, yeah. So, could I just take a minute and bring Mr. Ferguson up for one second on what where we are? These two gentlemen here are working hand in hand with the, uh, Golden State Collection, and they wanted to meet some of the local artists in the community and find out what our concerns were and, and what, how we could kind of all work together and pool our efforts towards um, helping them understand what our needs are and that kind of thing. So that's what Lily called this meeting of artists and art organization representatives for. So that's about where we are. I know him. You know him, all right. That's good. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're going around the room and all the artists are listing three concerns that they have um, within a short little time frame of two minutes. Of three concerns that they have um, so that these gentlemen can, you know, get an idea of what we need as artists, as black artists in particular. Say again? <laughs> Whatever that might be. So, you know, artists eat too, that's it. Artists have to eat, indeed. They <laughs> yes. So, go ahead, Wendell, what are your three? In just a second, Mr. Powell, did you have something? Yes. An unseen stumbling block in this whole concept of art. I was fortunate enough, through the War on Poverty program, to be granted an 